look at all these shadows <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we're finally i did it we're done we're there probably gonna make some changes to it in the future but this works well right now the new mark 9 backplate so the mark 8 was a pretty dang good backplate but we had a lot of issues with it when it came to this cover closing things like that it just it, it, it was a pain it was a pain so i went for a full redesign and i made things a hell of a lot simpler keep it simple stupid thing is amazing this thing's amazing so let's take a look at what we got going on a beautiful seam this finish is pretty dang good we have some imperfections here this fan is slightly off but dead center left to right off by a millimeter from top down easy fix we got the new mk9 badging same buttons as we did before beautiful seam up top uh we got a bit of a gap here on the side unfortunately there's nothing we could do about that it's either weak edge good gap or strong edge bad gap i picked a bad edge strong gap down here is looking pretty good we got a bit of a bump out here as we move towards here to the sd slot slight variations in prints could be my steam deck could be a many of things but for the most part it's pretty dang good if you've been a fan of the channel for a while you understand this is pretty dang good easily access the sd slot um same kind of issue on this side as we did in the other side right here we have a 40 by 40 by 10 mil fan just like we have on the mark 7 the mark 8 all the same fan this one is a lot more streamlined doesn't bump out as much uh, we got a small vent mod here uh, for our fan almost near perfect and then below the whole reason this whole thing is the port so it clips in door swings open so right now this stuff is just all just hanging out in there this dongle is taped down onto the motherboard but for the most part it doesn't go anywhere because of this lid this is oh, this is so nice so nice and the cool thing about this lid too is it doubles as a kickstand and the reason why that's good is because the whole point of this thing is to attach to a gpu you know swap out the sds and attach to the gpu so right now there is no mounting but this is all available on diypoppy.net you can get the stl5 for 4.99 or you can buy the whole backplate there might be some changes some variations definitely this height issue when you pick up yours um for 29.99 this whole backplate does not come with this extender you will have to purchase by yourself but it does come with a fan i listed this dongle so you know exactly which one i bought but for most part most dongles should fit uh, that's why this cavity is rather large and so uh, this is kind of worst case scenario in my opinion and so you shouldn't have too much of an issue with that beautiful thing about this access port now too is you can use larger nvme drives meaning you can use these original size ones and you don't have to spend the extra money on the smaller versions which are like three to four times the extra cost because of their size these normal size ones just pop right in no problem boom boom that's it you might want to tape yours down um when you get yours for me like i said before i've never had any issues with them flying off you're not running around with your steam deck unless you are then you should for sure tape it down and also if you want to do some type of external gpu and you got something like an oculink super chill super easy you pop this bad boy in got your cable right here oh this thing stinks it smells like chemicals maybe put a little bit of gaff tape down and now you have your kickstand you plug this into your riser where your gpu is attached to and there you go you can plug in your gpu to your steam deck with an oculink um you can you don't even need to use the oculink you can use a normal go ahead and just plug this bad boy right into it pretty seamless quick access to this rear port the biggest issue is the fact that the gpu is going to be freaking enormous believe it or not this was the whole reason for this access port is to tie this external gpu to it and this thing still held together with super glue it's going strong that's the beautiful thing about this. This is the whole reason why you want it. Yes, you could just take off your backplate, but then you don't have rear buttons. You won't be able to hold your Steam Deck. The cooling 
is the main issue with removing the back plate because you're gonna have to take off your heat shield and that's just gonna make your components on your your main board run a lot hotter. Remember that VRMs are there, your IC chips are there. It's very important to keep those cool. So if you ever see any other video where people are using external GPUs on their Steam Deck, they always have a fan going because you need to make sure those things stay cool. And the reason why the Steam Deck was originally designed with the, the vents in the bottom here to pull air through here into this fan here and out the top so you cool off this SOC Right now, since we don't have our heat shield, we can't cool off that SOC anymore, so we have to have an external cooler. There's no way around this external cooler. You have to have it. But now, with the Mark 9 backplate, you have everything you ever needed. The external cooler, you have the access port for a, a M.2 extender, and this thing should fit most size extenders. Like I said, mine is one of the bigger ones you can find because it was so cheap. Um, it is a little bit flimsy in there. Definitely, um, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue mine down um, because I don't need to move it anymore uh, because this thing is done. <laughs> uh, but for you guys, I don't know which style you're going to have. So I'll let you guys figure out how you want to mount yours and whether or not yours is gonna fit or not. But I'll tell you what, if you order the one I have, it will fit no problem. Uh, let's open this up and you kind of see kind of the reverse installation process of this backplate. Very simple back. This is the easiest backplate you need to really do. So imagine I am removing the stock backplate, taking off all eight screws, making sure not to strip them. Best way to not strip screws is make sure you're using the right size head, not too small. You can go a little big, but not too small. Make sure you're applying firm pressure and you're going in a straight line, a perpendicular pattern, so to speak, to the surface you are screwing on. All right, so this thing just slips right in out through this gap. And let's take a look at this back plate real fast. Imagine a steam deck back plate with two holes room for a fan and a storage bin. That's all this really is. And it just works, guys. It just works and it works well. It prints all in one sheet. That's it. It's such an easy mod. All right, so when you open up your Steam Deck, after we remove all eight screws, you're popping off the back plate, you're gonna have to remove three additional screws to take this heat shield off. There's gonna be one here, one here, one here. Pop that off. Gone, Bob's your uncle. That's all gone. You're gonna see a bunch of thermal pads. You might see one here. You're gonna see a big one here, 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 here. Thermal pads, don't need them anymore. Get rid of them, pull them out. You'll notice mine's a little different. That's a copper shim, uh, and that's for uh, a mod I did uh, a year ago. That's it, you just take it all out. Then you wanna make sure uh, you put this screw back in. This is very important. A lot of people forget to put this screw back in. If you don't put this screw back in and it's one of the flathead screwdriver screws, your system may overheat because you're not getting firm pressure on this edge and you need that firm pressure to make sure that this heat sink is attached to your APU correctly. But other than that, that's it. So let's say you just got your Mark 9 backplate in the mail. Don't need to really do anything that except for open the lid. All you're gonna do is take your M.2 adapter. Remember, I have the link on the website, DIYPoppy.net, where you can get your Mark 9 backplate. And also, I'll have the link for this exact adapter on the description below. And it's very simple fit. Stick it in there. You can use a different brand. I'm sure most brands will fit. This is kind of like the worst case scenario. This is very long and it is thick and it's a kind of a pain to work around. So this is pretty much worst case scenario. So for most of you, you'll probably be able to get a ribbon cable or maybe just a straight up cable and it'll be a lot easier than you. So you slit, slide it through the hole there, just like that. Right now it's all compression fit. If you want to tape this down, feel free. You can tape it down for me. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to tape it down. Yeah, this lid, once things get in this lid, it's not popping out unless you want it to come out. Like you gotta really open it. There's three prongs of it holding. There's grip here, 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 and here. So when it comes to screwing this thing, I always like to try to do a diamond pattern. And what you wanna make sure you do, you're doing as you're screwing it down is you're not over, you're probably giving everything about a half screw down as you work your way around and when I say half screw down you're basically not you're screwing it halfway through and you're not screwing it all the way 
in. And once you get them all in, then you start going back around from where you started, start to crank them down. And you just work your way around. You might have to squeeze it down a little bit, get the play out of it, uh, but it should be pretty straightforward. You want a firm pressure, but you don't want to you don't want to crank it to oblivion. But you just want to get nice firm pressure as you screw screw down. Once the screw kind of bottoms out and it gets too hard to turn with your fingertips, then you you're, you're probably there. With this back plate, the Mark Nine and the Mark Seven, uh, and then a soon to be Mark Mark Ten when we get that refresh done you wanna make sure your buttons work. So if you don't hear these buttons clicking, like these are clicking fine, meaning these two are firm, then you wanna check these, these uh, your bumper, your triggers. After these are feeling good, you can hear the click. You wanna make sure that these are clicking well. And then move to the other side. These are clicking well. I don't really hear these bumpers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it firmly and we're gonna crank it down just a tad bit, not over tightening it, Okay, I can hear the button click right here. I can feel the click. Check the trigger, check the bumper, trigger bumper, everything's good. Uh, these are all firmed down and that's it. That's all it is to install. So this fan is connected with USB-A, no USB-C, but it's great if um, you're using a dongle or charge, uh, charge port, plugs in, no problem. It's a five watt fan, so it doesn't draw too much power. So you can even rock a battery bank with it um and you if you had a dongle here on your steam deck you could easily power this fan doesn't pull that much wattage i think it's like 1.5 watts per hour or something like that so very 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 low voltage fan and that's it and then you're good to go so when you need to swap out your sd or you're going to put a external gpu dongle you just pop this bad boy open remember this is compression fit I would suggest once you get whatever dongle you get, you tape that bad boy down. Your NVMe SSD, for me, I, I've i never had any issue just throwing it in there. I'm not throwing this thing in a backpack. I'm It's literally sitting on a desk or next to me on the couch. No issues whatsoever of it popping out. Um, but obviously you wanna be careful. A little tape never hurts. This is not a Fortunately, this is not like a factory finish kind of thing. This is definitely a DI Waters mod. That's it. This is the Mark 9 backplate. Very simple. There's nothing fancy about this thing. This is what you call, let's just get it done. And I got it done. And if you want the external storage access and a cooling fan for your Steam Deck, this is the LCD Steam Deck. And the beautiful thing about this, it lays flat without a wobble. This is my favorite thing. This is why I try to make it as compact as, po as possible. There's no wobble. There's no wobble. It's gone. Because this thing, all of these are lower than these handles. So that was like one of my biggest things about it. And now you always got a kickstand. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can pick this up right now at DIYpoppy.net. $29.99 comes with everything except for this M.2 dongle extender thingy bumbobber. It comes with a fan and the back shell, this cover plate. No extender. No extender. It doesn't come out with an extender. Just comes with a back plate and the fan. And there you have it, guys, the Mark 9 back plate. It was a long time coming, and I think it was worth the wait because this thing is dang near perfect. I feel like I'm done with this thing now. <laughs> I might do some cosmetic changes in the future, but for the most part, I'm going to be rocking it just like this, except we're going to adjust that. So when you want to get yours, um, you can visit us at DIYpoppy.net. It's going to come with a fan. It does not come with your M.2 extender. So this right here, this green thing, will not be included but everything else will be included. Uh, the back plate and the fan and the cover. Uh, so, and it's a very simple mod, very simple install. Just make sure you don't lose your screws because it doesn't come with extra screws. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.